What is going on guys? This is Platinum Point and I'm here to bring you guys another White Shorts deck profile. This is going to be on my update on Saikano. Sorry I didn't post anything for a while. I've been relatively busy. I decided to take a three week break in order to just kind of um, recover from work and just the hectic stuff with life thanks to the the pandemic so I didn't get a chance to really upload stuff but um yeah this is um Saikano I did a lot of things about this deck changed over the past few weeks actually past few months for example I managed to kind of foil out some the the climaxes for the Megumin finisher and I am actually testing out um Another one step, which is the entity one step. The reason why is because of the the climax combo, which is the climax, which is a shot trigger, which synergizes really well with the entity in gen. Not the entity, the Megamine finisher, since it adds an additional um, instance of damage when you trigger it. So, and it's a precision um, on cancel burn. So it's actually really nice so you get to um not, not only proc um the on cancel burn but you also get to get the on reverse burn too with the megamine which is really nice um so i oriented this deck to be a more um com uh more aggressive build that focuses on um gaining non-interactive pluses while still maintaining compression it doesn't compress at doesn't build as much stock as the gold bar build, but it does it it does a decent job. So without further ado, let's get on to the deck. Starting with the zero step. So we're playing four copies of the Izumi Runner. I managed to get one foil from it. It's kind of a staple in the deck. You need it. It pretty much is one of the best um, utility level zeros in the deck. Next, I play four copies of the Utaha um, bounce, um, bounce Supporter. So th what this does is when other characters declare an attack against plus 1,000, and one of my other game characters were to get front attack, they can pay one, Put this into memory and basically bounce it. So this allows me to avoid on reverse climax combos and also protect certain resources like the Izumi Runners, which is also a pay one put into memory top four check. So this allows me to build resources as well as pay out stock that I trigger later in the previous turn. Um... Continuing on with the Utaha lineup, I play three copies of the Utaha Ricky. So this is an on reverse Ricky that is a pay one clock. It's clock yourself, put this into memory, and then salvage your waiting room for any game trait character. So this is your main source of um, recursion at the zero step since we're not playing actually any brainstormers in this deck. Since not in this deck, we're not playing any brainstormers at the zero step. So this is our way of recurring back resources. Um, next, we play three copies of the Early Childhood Entity, which is on play, give another character plus 2k, or actually just give a game character plus 2k, and then when it gets reversed, pay one, discard, put, in, put this into memory, and search. So this is your uh, main f form of um, searching and hand fixing. At the zero step so this allows you to basically um pick out the pieces that you need and also help you build really decent boards and then lastly for the zeros we play two copies of the mega me from set one this what this does is basically when it comes into play you get to put a game character from your hand into clock and then top three check and add any card from the top three and then put the rest in the waiting room so this allows you to dig for events if you run it but this mainly is here to dig for climaxes since you need the shot trigger in order to get off the your one step 
And you want to get that one step off pretty consistent, consistently as it mills through your deck and allows you to refresh faster. Speaking of one steps, we play, I play four copies of the level one climax combo entity, which combos with the shot trigger. So what she does is if I control another game character, it gains the ability on attack top four check. So this is a, ma a Magudo. So this allows you to um, kind of just mill through your deck and get what um, your whatever resources that you need from the top four check. So this is your basically non-interactive plus since um, it ignores walls and allows you to kind of just plus off of it by gaining characters to your hand. And it pairs really well with the Utaha um, backliner because you just put this in the backline and basically uses the effect to save one of the entities from being reversed, you can re um, if you draw the shot trigger, reuse it, and then basically consistently do the level one climax combo. So this ensures that you're constantly looping that climax combo throughout the game. Sorry, something dropped. Continuing on with the one step, I play four copies of the Megamine Search Brainstormer. So this one. Since we're not playing any brainstormers at the zero step, it allowed me to kind of free up to add more utility zeros. And we're basically just going to be focusing on brainstorming at the one step. And your goal is to pretty much put some of these into memory in order to early play the, the two one at level, not even early play, just to change it to the, to the two one backliner. So this is your second source of memory climbing since you're guaranteed to hit um, four memory easily if you do the, do it right. And since we're not worried about um, having brainstorms, since this deck mills through itself very fast, you don't have to worry about it. And then lastly, for the one step, I play two copies of the Coin Flip Utaha promo from set one. So this is basically um, the, the Lisbeth from Sword Art Online. So when it gets reversed, you get to reveal the top card of your deck if it's level two or higher. Rested. So this, since you're thinning through your deck pretty often, and we're running a healthy number of level two and above, besides the the um, backliner and Kato that goes into memory, you're mo you're highly likely to hit the the um the top check. So you actually get to keep this on the board on board very often, and it's basically just a free character to constantly replay and build stock with. And then now to the two-step, I play one copy of the Clock Swap, the early play Clock Swap um, Utaha. So this is basically here to answer um, certain um, level early play, early plays that are kind of problemat problematic. It also answers standby early plays if they um, stand by level three. So this allows me to kind of get rid of it by just putting it into Clock instead of just putting it either into Stock or into Waiting Room. And I prefer um, clock swaps. Um, next, we play two copies of the free fresh backup. Kind of generic. And then lastly, four copies of the 2-1 Katos that changes into the 3-2, which is also a level assist, which is actually pretty nice. And then now for the three-step, I play two copies of the 3-2 Utaha from set one. This is basically a secondary finisher in the deck. So like if I only am able to get off one of the Megumin finishers, I can pretty much just set up a board where I play the um, early play heal, power pump this, front into it. And even if I um, trigger a soul trigger, it's fine because since this is a restander, I just basically, it's a pay to discard one Saka character. So it clears up a, a board and since your deck compresses, you actually like that since they're going to be over swinging pretty often. And you basically get to precision side for one if you trigger a soul trigger, which is really nice. So that's why it's kind of your secondary finisher. And I also play the three copies of the early play as I mentioned before. And then lastly... 
four copies of the finisher, Kato. If you remember from the previous video, it combos with the door trigger. So basically, it's an um, hex proof if you have four more um, cards in memory. And it, and it becomes an 11k, which is actually not bad. And if you power pump this, becomes a 13k. And since your opponent can't use backups, it's actually really hard to answer it when it swings in. So actually, you're almost guaranteed the reverse because of that. And it's a um, it pairs really well, like I said, with the shot trigger. Because if you trigger the shot trigger, you basically have two instances... Actually, three instances of damage on top um, for just one attack, which is really nice. And this deck does kind of succeed better when you have multiple instances of damage. Um, overall, I like the Kato Finisher because it gets around um, the Anti-Burn 1 and it's a hex proof. So I hope you guys like this deck profile of Saikano. I am going to be trying out different versions. This deck is probably... Um, this set is actually one of my, my favorite JP sets, and it's probably <clears throat> the only one of the only JP sets I would go into multiple versions if there's a another Psychono set. Um, I hope you guys like this deck profile. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, balls crack the like button, and don't forget to stay on point, guys. Peace out. I'm